Hey guys, this is MacKids and One with a Pearl lesson. Now I know I've had Pearl lessons before, um, but they weren't that bad, good. And so this is part of the summer agenda programming course. I'm going to be doing Pearl. So Pearl is our first interpreted programming language. And interpreted means that it doesn't compile into computer pro um, computer code that the computer itself knows how to handle. Another program on your computer called Pearl actually runs this um, Perl script that you write. So we're going to be using Terminal to write our own little Perl programs that will, um, in this lesson, have um, have you enter a number and um, or how you enter something else, say that thing back and something else along with it. So you should watch our other Terminal lessons before um, watching these Perl lessons. I think the first maybe five or six Terminal lessons would do. But you should really know how to use terminal efficiently before you do these Perl lessons. So I'm going to CD to my desktop, and then going to VI a program called Hello World PL, and that is the file extension. You can also use Nano to edit a file, but I'm going to use VI. So I'll just hit enter and start editing my Perl program. So the first line of every Perl program on Unix should be hash bang slash user usr is how you spell that slash bin slash curl. Now I'll hit enter. And now you want to type here here's how you um print something. You print space quote and then the message hello world. What's um your name? Backslash n and then they'll type their name right there. And you need to end the line with a semicolon. So now how do we declare a variable that's a string and get text into that string? That's easy. And in fact, declaring a variable, you don't have to do care star whatever or care whatever, left bracket, whatever. You can just declare it. So you do dollar sign variable name equals and then a value. So in this case, we're going to do dollar sign name space equals space less than STDIN greater than semicolon. And STDIN is all caps. So this is not only declaring a variable called name, it's assigning it to be left bracket or left um, less than pretty much um, standard input greater than so less than than an open file greater than will read a line from a file and the file standard input is um, or stood in in all caps is the terminal so I'm reading a line from the terminal so whatever they type in there's no limit to the amount of characters that can be put in this variable and this variable is not at all a character array or a string or anything it's just something stored in memory that you can treat as a number a letter or anything then just like when we did that thing with C it is going to end with a new line now there's an easy way with Perl to get rid of that you just type chomp space and then the variable name the variable name always starts with either dollar sign or at sign. At sign means it's an array of variables, and dollar sign means it's one variable. We're going to be using dollar sign in all these Perl lessons. So now I'll go to the next line, and I'll say print space quote hello space dollar sign name backslash and close quote semicolon. So in the middle of a piece of text, you can put dollar sign name, or the dollar sign then the variable name, and instead of printing dollar sign the variable name, it'll print the contents of the variable. So, say we want to print something that has a dollar sign. So I'll say, you're worth um, ten dollars. Okay, so, um, say you want to make this dollar sign ten, a piece of text. Whenever there's a dollar sign, you just put a backslash before it, and that makes it print out a dollar sign, not look for a variable name. So I'm printing out their name, and I'm saying they're worth $10. So now I will run this. So the way to run any Perl program, you type Perl space and then the name of the program, and normally that's a path to the program, so you can just type Perl space and then drag in the script. And now it says, what's my name? I'll say Alex. Hello, Alex. You're worth $10. So that is how to write a Hello World program. You can also rename it to something that doesn't have, um, uh, what's it called? The, the name .pl, so it's just a text file. It'll open up with text edit then, and you'll be able to edit it more. And if you want to make it executable, you can do chmod space plus x space and then drag in the script. And then it'll automatically open the terminal. 
So if you've watched our other terminal lessons, this should be a snap for you. You should get it. You should be able to use nano to edit the file, and then you should be able to type the code. So this is how to use Perl to write any program. So um, hopefully you've understood this. If there's anything not clear, which I totally understand, please comment and or personal message me and ask me the question you have because I go very quickly in these lessons since YouTube has a time limit on their videos. So thanks for watching and goodbye.